So this question comes from Karel A. Um, I'm a beginning IT guy. I work in the creative industry and I'm slowly moving to IT. I've always been passionate about technology and have been disassembling PCs since they ran Windows 3.1. So I got some experience in hardware, basic networking, and intermediate experience in ZFS arrays using FreeNAS, deploying them in an audiovisual film editing environment using 10 gigabit uh, SFP. Working in the creative industry nonprofit, I was always forced to work on a budget, so I never was able to buy new equipment. So out of a habit, I'm always on the look out for you servers. I recently was able to buy 20 Supermicro X8 dual CPU 1U systems with a total of 400 gigs of RAM uh, from a failed company for next to nothing, 600 bucks. My problem is that I don't know what to do with them. Sure, I could sell them on eBay and get a very decent profit, but I was wondering if I could use them to increase my business. Could there be an opportunity here I'm missing? Any suggestions on how I could use this equipment to my advantage? Many thanks. Um, Carl. Yeah, um, sell them. <laughs> Just sell them. I know what you're thinking. You're like, I got 21 new servers. Yay! Christmas! Um... Yeah, not so much. Uh, the, the problem with a lot of these servers anymore is it's just, you know, the, the world has moved on um, and these things aren't nearly as valuable as they used to be. Um, so unless you're doing some kind of like virtualization cluster, I really don't know why the hell you would need 20 servers. Um, I know it sounds cool and it sounds amazing, but like if I was going to have 20 server, one use servers, what I would do is I would use a... And again, you're going to have to pay licensing or whatever, right? So I would probably get a VMware license um, with, with the high availability and all their kind of thing that's going to cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars um, and then use that to basically create a virtualization cluster so that as servers get sp as, as server instances get turned on, they can automatically get moved to different pieces of hardware and go back and forth and all that kind of stuff. Um, that would be about the only thing that that I would see is really valuable with that now. Because, I mean, just like... Yeah, like, what are you going to do with it? I, again, like, like uh, the Bo Baltimore Robotics Center, you know, Ed Mullen. Uh, I, I talk about him a lot. He runs the Baltimore Robotics Center. And I have given them thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars of an equipment. And every time stuff goes out the door, my wife is like, ah, oh, should we really be giving that away? And I keep looking at her like, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, you know, I had a server rack. I had my own server, you know, back from when I had a business. And I had my server rack. And Ed Mullen got the server rack. And I had servers. And Ed Mullen got the servers. And I had a whole bunch of other stuff. And Ed Mullen got all that stuff. Why? Because it doesn't matter anymore, right? I've got Synology sent me two of their NAS units. Uh, has six, uh, so um, it has... RAID 5 in there, so it has 16 gigs of usable storage, um, and then I have it in a high availability cluster, so if one fails, the other one comes online, and that's one of the things you just have to think about, like, what are you actually going to be doing with this? Um, you know, if you're going to be doing creating a virtualization cluster, you could do that. Uh, if you're going to do some kind of like encoding cluster, so you're talking about doing the audio visual stuff. So, right, like if you're going to create the next YouTube, then having very powerful servers, basically being able to route encoding traffic. So, like whenever you encode a video, it takes a while to do. So, if you have 20 servers being able to encode versus one server, that'll just make your system work better. But again, are you, are you going to have a video load where you need 20 servers all chugging along? Um, again, and then you got licensing fees and actually building it out and all that kind of stuff. Then you've got the electricity bill. Man, you, you turn on 20 one U servers and that's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, and so, like, there's all this stuff. It's like, hey, I got 20 U servers. It's like, hey, whatever. <laughs> Um, they're, they're good for what they're good for. Um, uh, I would, I, I would, I would sell them. If you can get, get profit on eBay, I would absolutely sell them. Um, unless you know what you're doing again, unless you're going to be building out some kind of infrastructure, like an infrastructure, they're just not actually that valuable to you. Again, I've given away, like I've had servers and racks and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, it, it went out the door. It went to Ed. Why? You know, Cisco equipment. I had Cisco stuff that went out the door to Ed Mullen. Because I looked at it and it was like, what does it really matter anymore? This stuff actually.
actually is not in fact valuable to me. Um, and so I would argue that's the problem that you're going to run into. It's just, it's, it's a lot of power, but then what, what do you do? You're going to have a file server. And again, like even if you're thinking about storage, cause you got to think about like power consumption, right? So one of these crap, you know, whether it's Synology or whether it's Drobo or whether it's QNAP, something like that, if all you want is a storage solution, it is going to be a hell of a lot lower power consumption than these servers are going to be, right? Um, yeah, sell them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like, eh, yeah, put them on eBay. Uh, if anybody down in the comments wants to say, hey, I'll, I'll take some for whatever amount of money. Um, I just don't. Yeah, in the real world, again, because you got to rack them. Then you got to have the switch to be able to connect them up. You got to do all that stuff. You got the power consumption. Uh, sounds a lot cooler than it is. Sounds a lot cooler. You know, kind of like reminds me, like when I was a teenager, I bought a motorcycle I was going to fix up. I bought that motorcycle for 50 bucks and then I spent like $200 on all the, uh, on parts to try to fix it up before I realized it was just a crappy old motorcycle that would never run properly anyway. Um, and I kind of feel like you're, you're kind of like going through that adult thing of like when a kid buys like a, a motorcycle and thinks you're going to fix it up. It's just like, yeah, it looks like when you buy it, it looks like a really cool idea. Um, and then once you start thinking about what you would actually do with it, right. Um, so yeah, that would be my thought. Sell, 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 sell.